couple things about coin magic. Coins themselves anymore are their own little unique piece of history because nobody carries American half dollars. And I always, always, always take the purse out. It makes the trip a little more important. And perhaps just as importantly, I make them, or ask them anyway, to take the coins out of the purse. Um, this trick is... I, I can't even explain how much I like this trick because um, it's just a darn good trick. So the idea is that one at a time, the coins go from my right to my left. This guy was the first, but he won't be the last. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Anyway, three coins and uh, like I said, have them take them out of the purse because it adds to the magic, I think. The, uh, I don't think the book this is in, Kaufman's Coin Magic, is still in print. But I do know that uh, the other big David Roth magic book is, and you should buy it from Richard Kaufman. It's called, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, The Expert Coin Magic of David Roth. And it has even more good stuff in it that's much harder than this to do. It's a pretty rudimentary trick. The best thing about this trick is you get two separate events here. Now, notice how tense my hand is. That's really a tell that, yeah, it's not a tell for anything. That's high flying winged silver. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you're not doing anything the 15th of October at 4 p.m., tune into the Magician's Forum and uh, watch my lecture. I'll tip that and all the bizarre handlings I have.